everybody it's I masterful and today I'm going to show you how to make 728 by 90 banner to use to advertise your website and use on Google Adsense or AdWords or affiliate with other websites nothing too over the top or nothing too plain so let's just get on with it let's open Photoshop because we're going to be using Photoshop today and let's go file new and as I said we're going to be making a 728 by 90 banner okay let's just make this window bigger go paint bucket and just make this a black background for now double click this layer gradient overlay make this dark red this one brighter red not too bright that looks good let's make this one a little bit more darker okay good click ok let's click our text tool here let's select the color white century gothic looks good let's make this 48 and type in my masterful select that click the character over here uncheck the i tag capitalize well that looks good add our link go www.imaster select that and let's make this 18 and we'll select another simple font tahoma go back into our character settings and let's make this 100 Okay, that looks good. And we'll center this down here. Let's select both of these layers and realign this. Okay, let's just rename this layer one to background so I know it's our background. Now let's add a layer on top of that. And we'll select rounded rectangle tool. Check black. Do. That looks good like that. And add another layer on top of that. Select, I don't know, a custom tool. Yeah, let's just use that arrow that's selected. And select the color white so that it'll show. Make an arrow like so. And let's add text to that. So let's go back to using Century Gothic. Add text onto that. Click here to join. Our character is back to zero spacing. And we'll align this. It looks good. Select all these three and then we align it more to the right. And let's rename these layers. So this one was the rounded tool and this is the arrow shape. Go back and select the background layer. Add a layer on top of that, select the black color again, select the ellipse tool or ellipse tool, and we'll make this even wider. And let's do there we go, that looks good. Select the I masterful as well as the link, and let's move that to the right. And you know what? Let's rename the layer one ellipse or ellipse tool. Add a layer on top of that, go to my brush, and I made a brush my masterful logo our logo as you can see right here and let's just lower it down to 110 let's just pick the color white so you can see it like that put it there move the i masterful and the link a little bit more to the right to make the link color red not too bright a little darker red like that Let's go back to our background layer and let's add text and we'll take out the capitalizing and let's just put our quote just about anything and everything. Close quote and make this 14 and how about we make this italic. There we go. Let's realign this. And select the background layer again and add a layer on top of that. Use the ellipses tool again. Color black selected. And let's just make a that and move it down. And it's this ellipse tool. And let's just duplicate that. And I want the same style as this background. So let me double click that background. I want the same gradient overlay. So let me just make a new style okay on the top layer of my ellipsy tool copy this is the style that i just did i want to reverse it so let me double click on that go into the gradient overlay check reverse go edit 
free transform make this smaller so my black background shows align this and we'll add another layer and this time let's add another of our logo but we'll just add the m logo as you can see right here the m logo and we'll make 37 so let's just select the white tool and put an m there and maybe the black one will be better double click that color overlay and select black okay so there we go and let's rename this m go to i masterful layer and let's duplicate that layer and we'll uncheck the original layer and let's rasterize this i masterful copy and let's add a layer on top of that click our rectangular marquee tool here make a small little selection like that go to our gradient tool Put this to 50 and let's click on here and lower the opacity to zero. Click here and lower the opacity to zero. So it looks like that. Make our gradient in this selection here like so. Okay, let's go edit, free transform and look. let's just tilt this. And let's just go marquee tool. Create clipping mask. So it just shows on the letterings of the iMasterful. If I move this, it just shines through the lettering. So let me just open my animation window here. Duplicate this frame by clicking down here. And let me go back to frame 1. Make sure my marquee tool is selected. And let me just put this in front of the eye so it doesn't show. Click frame 2 and drag it after the L where it's not showing. Make it 0.2 seconds, make this 0.2 seconds, click down here, it says tweens animation frames, leave this to 10 frames to add, previous frame, and click OK. So it added 10 frames down here, so we have a total of 12. As you know, on frame 1, we put marquee in front of the I, and on frame 12, after the L. So let's go to frame 1 and let me play this for you. And as you can see, it went from left to right. And we have down here checked forever, so that's why it's continuously playing. If we had it select once, and we go back to frame 1 and play it, it'll just play it once from left to right. And that's it. But we want it forever. So it's going from left to right, but I want it to go back from right to left as well. So let me select frame 1, duplicate frame 1, and take this duplicated frame and put it after frame 15, or 12 actually, okay? And so let's select frame 13, and let's add tween animation frames because you want it to go back to left. And to add, yep, leave it at 10, previous frame we play it now, go back to frame 1, and let's play it. It's going to go from left to right, right to left, and then back again because it's playing forever. But let's add a pause in between and make it one second, one second on frame 12 and 23rd frame. Go back to frame 1 and play it, so it's going to go left to right. Pause for one second and go back right to left. Let me select all these frames and make sure marquee tool is selected. And let's lower the opacity to 70. And let's go back to frame 1 and play it again. And that looks so much more better. It's not shining as bright. Save this so that it will play like that. All you have to do is just go to File, Save for Web and Devices. Make sure you save it as a GIF file and make sure the colors is 256. Save. Let's save it on our desktop and let's name it Banner. So if we go on our desktop, let's open with Safari. So that's how it's going to look like. That's how your banner is going to look like. Alright, so that's how you make a simple banner um, with a little bit of animation for your website. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!